Picture perfect, it don't exist But when I'm with you, don't have to question it True to ocean
That's really important for you guys to feel that because no marriage is just a marriage unto itself. A good marriage is when it's surrounded by loving friends and family who support you and give you guys strength as you do to them. Well, and uh, it's an honor for me to officiate this wedding. I remember, it didn't seem that long ago where I had baby Drew in my arms, and uh, it was an honor to baptize him. And uh, I was their family pastor for a while, but for such a long, long time, we've been family friends. So very special for me to be here. Thank you. And Molly, what a great thing to be a part of your special day. Thank you for that. I do take you, Molly, to be my wife. These things I promise you, I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect and trust, help and care for you. I will share my life with you through the best and worst of what is to come. I will love and cherish you as long as we both shall live.
aspect of your guys' relationship. Uh, the first is protective. Um, it's one of them things where I'm good friends with Molly, so you know I gotta watch out for her. And uh, but I told I told Molly, I'm like, hey, I've never seen this guy act like the way he is right now, and he's absolutely in love with you. So you better treat him right. <laughs> and then, I thought about Drew. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of protective over Molly, too. And the only thing I could think of is, if you break her heart, I'll break your legs. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't have to break any legs. <laughs> The second way I would describe watching these two fall in love is disgusting. <laughs> um, me and Drew and Molly one time we went to a concert up in or down in Des Moines, Iowa. Luke Combs and Morgan Wallen. We got to the concert, grabbed as much beers as we could, and went to the very top row because I booked the seats and I didn't realize they were the very farthest thing away from the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but we were having the time of our lives. And this one song came on, you guys probably know it, uh, Beautiful Crazy by Luke Combs. But yeah, we were singing, dancing the whole time, and then this song came on, and then I realized I'm the only one singing, <laughs> dancing, <laughs> maybe crying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I realized I'm the only one doing all this stuff by myself. And uh, I look over. <laughs> Just, you're on the ride together. So that 
was so little in my original speech. <laughs> I've never met more of a sweet couple than these two right here, and I cannot be more thankful that my baby sister found such a sweet man. I apologize for the water words. <laughs> I had a better speech planned. <laughs> Be grateful to know to grow old together. It's a privilege denied to some people, so be grateful for that. Right now, you're the young and hip people in the crowd. You're cool, you're young, and you blink your eyes, and soon you're the one trying not to fall in the crowd and break your hip. <laughs> no one understands, my second thing is, no one understands uh, reverse psychology and how to use it in the marriage. Allow your spouse to be themselves. Don't try to change them. And have unconditional love always. I teach third grade. The best advice I have tonight is from my third graders. I told them to write down any advice for my son and his fiance. Remember, they're eight and nine years old. So one was be kind, listen, and have fun. Be happy, help each other. When you fight, make it right. <laughs> Take her on dates. Okay? Go to Colorado. When <laughs> 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 fighting, don't be mean or yell. Don't yell. Be sure you're funny. <laughs> be sure you're funny, okay? Um, you should kiss and don't be nervous. <laughs> don't fight, it doesn't end well. Be a calm couple. <laughs> the next one he said, don't eat her food. <laughs> Movie nights, movie nights. Um, have time for yourself. He should shower. They really love this. When you pass gas, say excuse me. <laughs> Welcome the new Molly Strata and Drew. We have lots of friends, lots of relatives. Uh, lean on them uh, throughout your marriage. We are definitely all here for you. It's been a blessing to see Molly continue to grow into this beautiful, fun loving and committed person that she is today. Um, you know, it's just been a pleasure to get to know Drew and his wonderful family. And Doug, Chris, and, and Molly, and her son Alex, and two little ones, and, and Maggie. Um, our families have had some great times together uh, already. Um, and that's what I look to many more. Uh, Doug and Chris can be very proud of Drew. Andrew, we welcome you into the Aubrey family. Let's have a toast. From um, all of us in this room, and to those of the uh, folks of the, on the uh, memory picture table out there, we wish Drew and Molly the very best together in life and happiness. We love you all. Give it up for my beautiful wife. Um, short speech. 
Um, it means a lot to us that you all came out. I mean, we have people traveling five minutes, people traveling across the country. It means a lot to us. Um, we're here to celebrate with you. It's not about us, it's about celebrating with you guys. We want to share the day with you, so. <laughs> I wasn't going to talk, but. Um, That's something. Um, we appreciate it. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, Sorry, I can't believe to see you all here. I'm sorry, I see you really appreciate it. 